Motivation and compensation uh, is very interesting. And my experience having two businesses, one is in the consulting side and the other is more technology side. And between the two, you have a variation of individuals uh, from your baby boomers to your Gen Y millennials, uh, Gen X, all needing, uh, expecting very different things. The first and the most obvious to me is it needs to be aligned with that segment of individual. And I know we're generalizing, but the reality is that newer people in the workforce are coming into the workforce uh, with the expectation that this business is just a stop through to the next business in their career. I hate to use the word disloyal, but because it's not the right word for it, but it's, it's more of the expectation that this is how things are done these days, where uh, there's no sense of, you're never gonna find a lifer anymore at a business. Probably not gonna even find a business that lasts that long anymore either. But the reality is that we're not bred to go into the workforce to find the one job and become a lifer in that particular business. We're much more selfish, which I think is, there may not be nothing wrong with that. Uh, and we find jobs that are gonna help us or careers, or sorry, companies that are gonna help us advance our career. We stop at that one train stop, we learn everything we can and we go to the next. So I think having compensation programs that appreciate that as opposed to trying to fight it. Um, I think is the way to be and we, we make a conscious effort of doing that, that while their, their train is stopped at our spot, we're going to make sure that our compensation program satisfies what they're looking for. We know that they have you know, their path and their career, but we have to be you know, part of that today and we're going to design a program that you know, appreciates uh, where they are in their life.